Okay, you ready? Can you hear me? All right, raise your right hand, Ms. Noel. Am I saying it right? Mm -hmm. Like my husband. All right. I, Vicki Noel. I, Vicki Noel. Having been duly elected. Having been duly elected. To the office of the Klamath County Treasurer. To the office of the Klamath County Treasurer. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear or affirm. That I will support the Constitution of the United States of America. That I will support the Constitution of the United States of America. And the Constitution and laws of the State of Oregon. And the Constitution and laws of the State of Oregon. I will faithfully and honorably perform the duties of Klamath County Treasurer. <laughs> perform. perform the duties of the Klamath County Treasurer. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Great job. Good job. You did it. You did it. And now you have to sign. And I'll sign it here in a second. Mr. Hensley, can you hear me? I don't know that you can. All right, great. Fantastic. You ready? Yes. All right. I, Dave Hensley. I, Dave Hensley. Having been duly elected. Having been duly elected. To the office of Klamath County Commissioner. To the office of Klamath County Commissioner. Position one. Position one. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear or affirm. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution and laws of the state of Oregon. And the Constitution and laws of the state of Oregon. I will faithfully and honorably. I will faithfully and honorably. Perform the duties. Perform the duties. Of Klamath County Commissioner to the best of my ability. Of Klamath County Commissioner to the best of my ability. Good job. Thank you. You're great. Who's next? Nathan, come on up. Try to say I do like it did on my wedding day. Yes. <laughs> I can read it to you. You can say I will. Sure. All right. All right. I, Nathan Bigby, having been duly elected to the office of Klamath County Assessor, do solemnly swear or affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States of America and the Constitution and laws of the state of Oregon. I will faithfully and honorably perform the duties of Klamath County Assessor to the best of my ability. I will. Bingo. <laughs> Here, Nathan, come, come and sign this, Nathan. You've got to sign it to make it official. Rochelle. Hey, I'll read it to you and you can read it. We'll do it your way. Okay. All right. <laughs> Ready? Yes. I, Rochelle Long, having been duly elected to the office of Klamath Cl County Clerk, do solemnly swear or affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States of America and the Constitution and laws of the state of Oregon. I will faithfully and honorably perform the duties of Klamath County Clerk to the best of my ability. I, Rochelle Long, having been duly elected to the office of Klamath County Clerk, do solemnly swear or affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States of America and the Constitution and laws of the state of Oregon. I will faithfully and honorably perform the duties of Klamath County Clerk to the best of my ability. Good job. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> All right. Nathan, you still have to sign this to make it official. I will sign this. Yeah. All right. Minty, you ready? You want to hold on to that Bible? I do. Okay. You're going to put your right hand on it? Great. So you're not holding your hand up. You're holding your hand here. Do you want me to do this? Whatever you want. Well, I'll do this. Yeah. Put my hand on yours. Thank you. All right. I, Kelly Minty. I, Kelly Minty. Having, having been duly elected to the office of Klamath County Commissioner. Having been duly elected to the office of Klamath County Commissioner. Position two. Position two. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear or affirm. That I will support the Constitution of the United States of America. That I will support the Constitution of the United States of America. And the Constitution and laws of the state of Oregon. And the Constitution and laws of the state of Oregon. I will faithfully and honorably. I will faithfully and honorably perform the duties of Klamath County Commissioner to the best of my ability. Perform the duties of Klamath County Commissioner to the best of my abilities. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Great. I know you do. So, yeah. 
So I'm going to say a few words because I didn't last time, and Dave did such a good job when he first got sworn in of saying comments. So he th really threw me off because I thought he was going to say remarks, so I wanted to say remarks. Um, I got sworn in on, hi, Dan Kevin, you made it, hi. Um, I wanted to get sworn in this morning on this, and this has a story behind it. Um, my mother's father, who I never met, he passed when my mom was 18, was uh, the, he was a small business owner. He owned a small laundromat in Long Branch, New Jersey, and he was elected to the city council right prior to him passing away. Um, at the time, the most, po my voice is nervous, um, the most popularly elected city councilor at the time. And um, I had always heard the story, although I had never met him. And so he was the only other person in my family that, quote, had some kind of political aspirations. So, of course, I'm very interested in my um, grandfather, again, never having met him. So when I was going to get um, sworn in the first time, I just took a real shot in the dark. And I got a hold of my grandma and I said, you know, grandma, you live in that big two-story house. There's probably no way you can find it. But any chance you could find the Bible that grandpa was sworn in on? And she, of course, was like, no, Kelly, I can't find that. And that's, you know, silly. I, I can't find that. Well, lo and behold, um, she did get a hold of me about a month later, and she had found it. And this is it. She sent it to me. So um, why I wanted to share that, um, you know, we're just all coming off the holidays, and probably many of us spent time with family. And I also was reflecting on how, you know, when I'm here with the Minties having the holidays, we talk a lot about those who have went before us. We talk a lot about, we, you know, we still tell stories about Chet Minty, my grandpa, and my dad's grandpa, and we learn a lot from those stories. Um, and recently, Commissioner Hensley and I were finishing up a meeting in here, and we had uh, Chair Dumont from the Klamath Tribes, and he was speaking about how um, it, really, it really impacted me to hear him talk about how while much of what we speak of of the Klamath Basin, we can show charts and graphs and you know all of these really scientific things. Um, what means the most to him is the stories that he's heard from his family, his elders, um, the tribal elders. And so as I was f reflecting this morning about going into a new term, a new four years, um, as Commissioner Kelly Minty, I was thinking about how important it is that we do recognize and draw from the past, and we love sharing those stories, but we also acknowledge that those um, elders of ours and our grandparents, they would be doing things in a modern way if they were here with us now. So I want to encourage all of us to, um, as we move forward, to move forward with a real spirit of yes that does honor those who came before us, but also acknowledges that we're all moving forward together. And I think we have a ton of opportunities, and I'm so glad at the friends who are here in the room who represent oftentimes sort of my past and the, my, my first uh, time running for office, Brian Quick's in the back. He literally went door to door with me when I was first running for office as somebody who was like the most unlikely commissioner candidate probably on the face of the earth. Um, and then people from my future, newer, newer people into my life. Um, I, I think it's really important that we recognize we have a lot of opportunities. We have opportunities in energy. We have opportunities in housing development and innovation. We have opportunities in um, the way that technology butts up against some of our more uh, traditional economies like agriculture and medicine. And so I hope we take that spirit of yes and those opportunities and those new ways of thinking and I hope we marry it really beautifully with the past and to me that's symbolized by this and I just want to thank each of you for um, giving me a chance to serve another term. I am ridiculous in how giddy I am about what I do. I love it. I don't want to do anything else and um, just thank you for letting me serve you and let's all like together let's do big things in the next year and the next four years. Thank you.